Smile. We're live. Smile, baby. I already smiled. Stop me out. What's the matter? I told you what the matter is. <laughs> You made another bag of trash when I already took the trash That's out. That's your and it was trash. Up. You just left it around the house. Tangerine. I put it in the bag and now I'm the one who filled up the trash can. I took the trash out. You took yesterday. the trash out yesterday and then Last you ordered before food I went to, to sleep. go. I'm listening. And you ate some of it. Then you went to sleep. You got up. You ate some more of it. And then you went to sleep again. So the some more of it part is what's in the bag. Are you listening now? Are you prepared to listen? As I woke up and I ate again. I took those food containers and the two bags that were up here downstairs. So when I finished the food, I took all the trash outside. So everything will be picked up so we can start fresh. So the fact that there's a bag of trash here you and think, the garbage man has picked everything me. up. You think that all that is for me is what you're telling me. All I said was, just like you usually leave the bags of trash, you left that one bag of trash right by the stairs. Why couldn't you leave that bag of trash by the stairs as well since I it was there have last to night? help you take the trash out. Then if that's the case, why put the bag over there in the I first was being place? nice that day. So why not be I'm nice not and grab the other bag? I'm not going to do that every day. No, because I knew you'd already taken that other trash out. Exactly. You why knew should I, I took have it to? Out. But you left more trash. I didn't leave any trash. The Baby, trash was the show up. started. I don't give a fuck. Hi, everybody. We are live. I'd like to welcome you to episode nine of the Marriage Go Round podcast with Tangerine and CT, also known as Married Things and Things, also known as the Real Relationship Podcast. What's up, Bo Thompson? Thanks for watching, Mr. Bo. What's up, Daryl Bowles? What's up, sis? Check on the car. I don't know how to say it. Justine. Yes, Wendy. Already. Hey, hi y'all. Hey Tom. Thank you guys for being here. We are live exclusively on this Facebook page. I'm going to figure out how to collaborate this onto his page too, because there is a collaborate button, but it wasn't working for me to join it. But anyway, it's time for the theme song and then we'll get into some discussions about relationships. Please keep your questions focused on relationships. We don't want to hear anything about Hollywood or, or gossip or anything like that unless it has to do with relationships. Hi Gina. So you guys ready for the theme song? Baby, you ready for the theme song? No. You are? I feel you, CT. Hey, Taylor, more. You don't know what's going on. You be quiet. CT and Queen Tangerine. Autumn Reed is watching. Sing a damn song. You gonna say hi to Autumn Reed? Yes, I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Sing the song. It's time for the theme song. Marriage go round. Marriage go round. Tangerine and CT's marriage go round. Cause we're married things and things. Arrah. Married things and things. Arrah. The Real Relationship Podcast. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Braca, I'll tell you what. Braca, braca. I'll tell you, you what. Know my code? You do that theme song like that one more time, and it'll be the last episode we do. What? I already told you. Threatening you threatening to quit? I don't like that bullshit ass 80s rap version. But baby. I've said it a thousand times. You're going to listen. Because okay, you so don't think fat meat is greasy. But I when I show you. No, fat meat is greasy. One, fat meat is greasy. Fat you, meat when is I show greasy. you, you be the only one doing this show. But then listen. Maybe listen. Listen. You've, you've pitched no. Theme songs. All What's I up, said Michael was Bickham take Jr. that out, and I love the rest of the theme song. You what said part okay. you want me to take out? The 80s bullshit ass rap. But that's the whole thing. It's the 80s theme. No, it's not. What are you talking about? It's 80s. Okay. So what part do you want me to take It'll out? It'll be 80s by so, yourself. Okay, so how do you want it to go? Let me hear it. Sing the theme song. Yes, Cheryl Johnson. CT is already stressed. Sing the theme song. Okay, take two. Marriage go round. Marriage go round. Tangerine and CT's marriage go round. Because we're married nope, things and things. They're married no. things and things. No. But that's the that's the name of the song we got from Gorilla Tap One. Nobody says sing it like that. So how should we sing it? I just told you. It was perfect until you got to that. But we gotta say the married things and things part. How do we do it? Another way. So give me one. You're giving me no suggestions. Well, now's not the time. That's not how my mind works. You've had plenty of weeks. This is episode nine. This is going to be the last episode. Because you've got no suggestions. All you have is complaints. You're going to fuck around and get left like Doughboy. Stop Boy. cursing. Don't say that about Doughboy. It was a mutual right. decision for you guys to stop doing your podcast. All right. Yeah. Oh, we got stars. 200 stars from Reggie Williams. My second favorite couple. Set. My second favorite couple of all time. I'm assuming he means him and his own wife as the first. Thank you for sowing seeds onto this tangerine and CT tree with 200 stars my stars are activated here on facebook every star gives us a penny so these kisses are just for you reggie Williams. thank you lmoy left like doughboy exactly all capital letters you type that cheryl johnson he is on one today and doughboy. ashley thank you ashley white for shouting out the 200 stars from reggie yes and doughboy is family 
But I'm just telling you. All right, now. But you've given me no suggestions. So by next week, can you please do the theme song for us the way you would like it to be done? You're the singer. I'm not the singer. You are the singer. Marriage go round. Or. No, we're uh, looking for married, married things, things and things. things. Married things and things. And then the Real Relationship Podcast. No. We got you three don't need names. To have three different tones we have of song. three names. Okay, so marriage go round. <laughs> marriage go round. The tangerine is CT. Marriage go round. Married things and things. And then real relationship podcast. Rah. No. The fuck is this raw shit? No. Just say the real relationship. The real relationship podcast. Jesus. All right, you guys. This is our show. This is how we're starting it today. Wow, that's the truth drop regarding another former podcast. Was that the truth drop regarding another former podcast? That's what Autumn Reed wants to know. Uh, Keena King says, I knew it was all Doughboy. <laughs> What's up, Keena no, King? No, Doughboy's great. I'm not going to sit there and throw uh, my good friend under the bus, but I will he's say. He's already under there. I will say that was made for comedy effect to prove a point to Tangerine. Oh, Callie Burr said. That I will walk away. Whoever hit your hair up, tell him he's next. He wants his hair braided. Cali oh, Burr. thanks, Callie Burr. How you been, Callie Burr? How's your son, man? You got your baby boy. CT Mike. Oh, die. shit. I didn't even know that was his last name. How yes, about that? He's Calvin Fritz Jr. when he's applying for a government job. We tease him. He has two profiles in my Discord. I guess the air conditioner is on the Fritz. <laughs> That's such a dope last name. It's just I didn't think it was yours. That's fire. That's the fun of doing the show. I would call myself Callie Facebook. Fritz. Or he, Cal Fritz. No. Fritz Callie. He's Cal. He's Callie Burr. Tangerine with the straight face. What's up, Michelle C? Thanks for being here. Cheryl Johnson says, I love the rock. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl? Thank you. All right. Don't say it. Super excited you about today's it. episode. Thank you, Ashley White. All right, let's get into it. Getting started, I want to tell you guys, I apologize to anybody who was looking for Tangerine's Top Talent yesterday. I was exhausted. We've been flying. I had been from, within the last, what, 10 days, I had gone from Sacramento to Charlotte to North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, to Detroit, Michigan, and then back to L.A., I got two days home before I go to Tacoma, Washington, and my flights were always at weird hours, like two or three in the morning, and then I had to like get up an hour or two early to take my rental cars back, and I just didn't get any sleep. I had layovers that were hella long. I was just really, really tired. So I'm sorry I didn't do the podcast yesterday, the, the Tantric's Top Talent, episode number 99, but I'm here for episode nine of this show, and I'm happy to be here, and we will go live in my Discord in the supporter room. Brayden After this. says, yo, what up, fam, Team Ream and CT all day since 100 stars. Thank you, Brayden. So mm -hmm. Francis mm -hmm. O'Pong Jr., you. 100 stars. Say the name again. Francis O'Pong Jr. Thank you, Francis. These kisses are for you. One, 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 one. Autumn says, I like the first theme song. The second one sounds like a 50s double make gum commercial. I agree. She told me to sing something right then. I, I didn't want to give it to y'all, but, but she's you've very... But you've had nine weeks she's to She's defensive and deflector. I'm not deflector. I'm solution oriented. If you don't like something, give me the solution. Okay, and you felt that the solution, uh, Nene just sent you 300 stars. You think hey, the solution... Hey, thank you, Nene Favors, all the way in San Diego. <laughs> Thank you for sowing seeds onto this tangerine tree. Nene, I'm supposed, to be, I'm supposed to be doing the Raw Naked Sushi Show in San Diego at the end of the month. So I know you came all the way up from San Diego to watch it in downtown LA, but we're doing it again. Kina says, girl, you don't owe nobody nothing. Talking about Tangerine Stop Talent not being there yesterday. Oh, uh, thank you, Kina Calvin Fritch Jr. says, it's Burr, cuz. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> Burr, cuz my flow cold off the fritz. Hey, Cali the Burr. I love it. I love it. What's up, rich man? Um, up, Aaron See, Baker, y'all made it escape the clutches of my job earlier today. Nice. Oh, welcome, welcome. And sorry we didn't get to see you when we were in Detroit. Anybody who lives out there, including AJ, Lexi, Lex, Green Ranger, we just went to see two different family members, and that took the whole day. We had a barbecue to go to. It was a long day, but it Presley was fun. Presley says, eight mile road in the house. Love you guys. What's hey, up, Presley? Hey, Presley Taylor. Autumn Reed says, for one of my favorite... <laughs> Real couple sent by Thank you, stars. Autumn Reed. And I Reed. like this is like a sticker. Hers is a special way she sent it. Thank She's you for special. 500 stars, Autumn Reed. Mwah, 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 mwah. Those kisses are just for you, Michelle, Michelle C. C. Naked sushi. Where the naked men gonna be at? I know. I haven't seen naked men sushi yet, but that's something you could start. Would you Jill of all that? trades. Would you eat the one off the women? Yes. Okay, so if what's the on, difference? If it's on her nipple or on like her stomach, they've, but if been, it's on they've that, been on whole bodies. If they got that trout on that trout, then I, ain't, I don't want to taste nothing. You yeah, me? well, they had it over. Pickled salmon. How'd they make that? 
disgusting. Oh, it's our motto. Is it pickled? Yeah, it pickled. The funny thing is... We didn't is, cook it like that. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't cook it like that. It's disgusting. I saw my friend, Hoochie Poppy Goddess, does this raw naked sushi modeling. And she's completely naked because she was, you know, she's a stripper in real life. But she's not a stripper. She's a former dancer. Okay, well, she's a she's sex a worker nudist. now. She's a sex worker now, sex but I didn't worker, want to say I that. I when they say that. But that's what she worker, calls it. If I, can I finish the sentence? Uh, can I? I was in the middle of talking. Man. You corrected me. But when we're talking... Oh, so when I'm talking and you correct me, then it's cool to cut me off. Go ahead. When we're talking... Go ahead. You don't need to explain. Go ahead. When we're talking... Got it. Go ahead. What would you want to say about it? She's not a... She's not a... She's a nudist. Go ahead. When we're talking, we're vibing. Uh, it's... You see what you're doing? <laughs> You don't have to explain. If I gave you the floor, just say what you were going to say. That's what I was going to say. No, you were talking you, about her being a nudist. I'm going to say that. But you have to first explain why you needed to cut me off, even though you don't want me to cut you off. It's not uh, about you not wanting uh, <laughs> It's not about me not wanting you to cut me off. It's that's we're all flowing, it's about. We're, we're only flowing if you're cutting me off. If, we're, if I cut you off, it's no flow. It's, oh, I cut you off. So when we're flowing, sometimes it's fine for somebody to run because you're going along with the flow. But you don't have to. I've been trying to get you to understand this for twelve years. No, you've been getting you know to you have do? an excuse for cutting me off for you'll twelve do years. This. Somebody will be saying something. If your <sighs> sentence is, "I love a glass of water," but you'll say, "So I want you to say, I love a glass of water." I love a glass and of water, thing, and you'll just continue with the rest of the sentence instead of hearing what that person just started, which might be going along with why we didn't need to hear water because we knew what you're going to say. And you're always wrong when you cut me off and try to think you knew what I was no, going to say. No, I'm not saying. trying to finish the sentence. So what I was going to say had nothing to do with her title. My point right. was, don't you dare start looking at this because you're not listening. You mean like you weren't just listening to me? We were having a discussion about raw sushi. I let you interrupt me and do all your jokes. Why do you sound so defensive? Because you were full of ish. I let you interrupt me, do all your jokes about pickled salmon. But the point was... I had was, to fight for pickled salmon. You were no, going to talk over it. No, I gave you pickled salmon. You said it four times. Rewind the tape. Uh, yeah, after I had to get it out. You got it out. You almost then you repeated the time it. You mean like when you were ruined the time and when we did couples and comedy and I was on the stage saying something about you and then you cut me off? Oh, because I didn't think that it was a joke. I thought that you were just like saying so, one but, sentence and that was it, but you continued to go. But yes. your pace was so slow. Uh, my pace wasn't slow. You, you just cut me off. Going. And you always cut me off. But when I cut you off, it's, oh, oh, Because who's the, the one saying something more important? Come on, let's focus. Oh, my God. You guys. Whew. Don't marry a guy who thinks he is a Leo king. You're not even a Leo. The way you don't act, marry a guy who thinks he's a Leo you king. You think you're a Leo. You act like a Leo. I'm a Taurus. Proud of it. So what I was going to say, which is super old now, please stop reading comments because you're going to change the subject. No, not at all. I'm not. Is that raw naked sushi? When I saw my friend, Aaron Uchi said, Pop "Oh my god! Oh my god!" I did it on purpose. I don't want to do the show anymore. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. Basement. I love doing this show with you. Do you love doing the show with me? Nope, because your mouth is out of control. You think everything revolves around Baby. you, and you try to make it seem you like everything mean revolves that around at all. me. I you mean don't it all mean my heart. That. I'm sad. You're the worst. I'm sad. You're the worst. So as you were saying, girl, your show definitely made my summer and year so much better. You're welcome, Ashley White. Look Thank at you that. For that. You just shared the subject. Compliment. Your good friend, who's your baby goddess? Go ahead. Are you gonna let me say it? It's not even that You're big a deal just anymore. Ran the All I was gonna say is that because she's an actual nudist slash ex stripper slash sex worker, she actually is nude under the food, and it looks very sexy. She's got a beautiful body, like no scars. It's great. When I did the show as a comedian on in downtown LA this last month, the girl had on brown panties. And not even thong. She had on big brown panties close to her skin color. And I was like, this isn't naked at all. You guys are cheating. You should just say sushi on a bitch. Like, that should be the title of it. That's disrespectful. What? Sushi on what you said. And second, oh, maybe it was that call... time of the month for her. You don't even know. Then she should ask for somebody to replace her. That's why she wanted raw sushi on top of her. Because she was also feeling raw down there. and they didn't That's disgusting. Enough. You have no idea what it's like to be on a cycle. <laughs> for you to even say that. I'm not a woman. <laughs> You're not. And I don't oh. identify as one either. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness. Because we wouldn't be under this. You both are the best. Thank you, Cody. Thank you for watching. He's a subscriber here on Facebook. I appreciate your support. Yes, so baby. I don't like hearing people say sex worker unless they're actually like a prostitute because certain sex certain sex work just has such a negative connotation to it. We understand it. We don't judge. But people be like, yeah, I'm a sex worker. You'd be like, get them away from the kids. And it's like, no, this person just dances in clubs where guys get erections. Oh, 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 oh. Well, oh. I definitely, when I say sex worker, I mean there's sex involved. For right. Many. CT going to get this point across or else. Exactly, Reggie Williams. CT, what up? Put that air mattress on eBay, Tito Helper says. Tito, are you still in 2008? That's my air mattress. Bingo. Michelle's laughing at us. Tito Helper saying hey to me. 
Michelle's laughing again. Hi, Tangerine CT. What's up, lovely Lydia? Naked male sushi? I'm all in and I don't even eat seafood, Autumn Reed. Exactly. It would be a fun experience to see. Like, what could they put on top? Like, if he was uh, erect, could they set, like, the one thing here? What is one thing? Like, they got the sushi in different spots, like little pieces of roll. Could they just set one thing up here, like maybe a plate, like a little saucer, and then put some things right there? That would be cool. It's so disgusting to you because, of course, you're not into men. It's also disgusting to me having sushi on a woman's trout. Having that trout on that trout. Hopefully, it doesn't smell like trout what on if, the woman, what if, regardless. What if she smell like fish before they even throw it on her? And she'd be like, no, that's cool, because I, I smelled them bringing it in outside. That's so gross. I smelled it on a trout. Oh, yeah, hey, okay, let's just put the food on. So I saw this meme today, you guys, that said something about it's so hot, because it's been really hot uh, lately in different cities. It's so hot that my vagina smells like fish. And then a person under that replied, Mine always smells like fish. First of all, that's not okay. Second of all, you should know that it's not okay enough to not post that on social media to tell everybody that yours always smells like fish. So I had to send that to him so we could laugh I, at that I was together. Disgusted. It's gross. Uh, lovely Thank you, Lydia. lovely Lydia, for the 200 stars. <laughs> Thank you. Cody says, I'm not going there. Hey, Tito. Uh, what do you say? Clayton is a bull, 513. Salute. Yeah, Taurus, a bull. Well, fellow Taurus. Right. Yeah. You thought he was saying something bad about you? Something no, not bad? at all. I was just going to, damn, can I give a thought to your first Well, question? you were going so slow that I had to cut you off. You are really petty and it's not an attractive color. <laughs> when I say what you say? No, here's the thing. I want y'all to see what she just did. <sighs> she says some fuck shit and then she grabs my arm and oh, she giggles. I'll twerk on him in a she minute. She does that I'll to twerk everybody. On him. No, because she thinks, just you. No, not the twerking part. I'm talking about the, you'll grab the arm and be like, <laughs> to yeah. get away with the dumb shit you said. Yeah. What's wrong? What's your point? It's passive aggressive. Because you're passive passing aggressive. your aggression to them and they're not allowed to respond back because you think you just saw Who is it. the them? I just do this to you. No, to people. I just do this to you. No, no, you do this to everybody. No, just you. You're very kind of there. Oh my God. Anything else you want to complain about before we get into the topic? Your mouth. Uh Go ahead. Tell give me. the lady a chance to talk, bro. Hey, Richmond. Thank you, Richmond Johnson, the second. Have you even heard the conversation? The fact that you're siding with her means that you're probably Team Tangerine. And I respect that. Brayden says y'all are hilarious. Thank you, Brayden. Brayden also sent you 50 stars. Oh, thank you, Brayden. Those kisses are just for you. Not to be outdone by Delitra. <sighs> Shout out to the guy. Oh, Delitra. Del Delitra. Oh, Delitra right. Webb sent 200 more stars. Thank you, guys. We've already raised $17 and we haven't even gotten into a relationship topic other than communication. I guess today's topic could be communication. Sex worker does sound like whore. Thank you. But that's what it is. You're working it's not for whore. sex. You're having sex on camera or with a, a person, a stranger, or someone you know, and being paid for somebody to partake or to watch. Daniel Tasso says, it's hilarious. You guys should do this more often. Oh, because this is only our ninth episode. Thank Appreciate you. you. We do this in. show every week. It's usually Wednesday at this time, but we had a couple of Tuesday episodes because we were going out of town. Nadir, why y'all argue so much? It's mad annoying. You know what else is mad annoying? You. But they put the laughing, crying emoji, so I think which they meant a, it as a joke. Which is something that you just did with the arm thing. You say yes. something and you try and soften it with a smile. It's like when people type rude things, don't call me names, when people type rude things and put LOL at the end, it's supposed to soften it. That's what her emoji did. Thank you, Autumn Reed. Call him CT. Double uh, fish sandwich. Hey, hey, what's up? Mel Melanin popping. Hey, y'all, what's up? Let's Lexi Lex, stop everything right now. Ladies and gentlemen, today is July the 6th. And today is Tank's birthday oh. and Lexi Lex's birthday. Oh. So please wish them both a happy birthday. Lexi Lex is Alexis Moore in the comments. Reply to her, send her love and tell her happy birthday. I hope her day is amazing. And Tank, his name is Edwin. Tank. Woods. Abraham. 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 In the comments, if he's in here yet. Wish them both a happy birthday and a great day. They have been huge supporters of Team Ream and Team Tangerine for the past couple years, and I'm happy that they get to see another year on this Brain earth. Brain Simple Desires is that bro. <laughs> seen them bring it in from outside. Talk about the fish. Oh, that's gross. Uh, Thank you for 50 stars. Like it's the cushion to the... It's the cushion, the fire that came out of her mouth. Scott Stallworth. The okay, cushion Scott. to the... I don't understand that uh -huh. uh marcus iglesias what up hi marcus ct she said that female he he bs changed the energy and topic she did that female yeah oh. he he bs yes that's what i do it's a way to diffuse a situation because we could argue and it could actually be something that makes us both upset 
but I'm the first person to try to like bring the energy back up because he's got a quick temper. I do have a quick temper. I don't think you realize that doesn't actually break. It always the works. Move. It always works. It's like don't, that makes it worse with me. With doesn't. other people, it might work. It doesn't. Work. It always works. Okay. <laughs> you go tell Ashley me what White works. Ashley White says, if that thing is fishy, then that means they didn't take their hygiene seriously. Being fishy is definitely a no no. I agree, Ashley White. Thank Thanks. you. Hi, everyone. What I miss? Deanna H., we came in here arguing about. The, the theme trash. song about the trash not being taken she out the way he bag. wants it to be taken out. He thinks that I'm the one filling up the trash. I'm not. I didn't say and you were filling up the trash. So where do you think I found the trash to fill that bag up? That wasn't the argument. I what think was the argument? I'm trying to tell you. What are you trying to tell me? If you would allow... If I would allow you to what? I'm just playing. Go ahead. I never thought that you were the... See that smiling dumb shit? I never thought that you filled up the trash. My thing was, if you had already... So you guys don't know. She'll leave... Um, Bags of trash that need to go outside by the stairs because she know I'll go by the stairs to take it out. Whether I'm going down there or whatever, I'm going to be the first one to go. So I'll grab the bags. So last night, I saw that bag by the stairs, grabbed it. I also grabbed some more food from up on the counter, took it down there with me because I was going to eat it. And I was just going to take everything out in one fell swoop. And then today... I just look up as we start the show and I see another bag up here and I'm like, yo, what is that? She's like, oh, it's been here since last night. And I'm like, well, if it's been here since last night, why didn't you just set that bag by the other bag that you set? And then she just responded with, because I, I shouldn't have to. And it's like, I hear you. You shouldn't have to. But if you've already done it, why not just grab that bag and set it next to the other one? Because the trash man came already. Glad to catch you guys live. People don't get better. mad. Oh, it's not for me to feel better. It was just to be heard. Great. And you see, I didn't interrupt you the whole time. You shouldn't have. Right. I want you to take a note from that book. I just did. No. Don't interrupt me when I'm telling the story. I didn't. Because I haven't told one that you haven't interrupted yet. Are you... Do you feel better? Not until I get a story out that you don't interrupt, which I haven't started one yet. You should start Read one. Read the comments. Glad to get you guys live. People don't usually get my name right on the first try. Deletra, I'm amazing. If somebody else could understand that, then we'd all be on the same page. I married you. Of course I know you're amazing. Is that why you married me? Because you know I'm amazing? Or you married me because you were like, you know what? He going to keep asking if I don't say yes. And I mean, whew. So you think you just wore me down? Yeah. And you're proud of that? I'm still here. I'm still standing. Jeez I'm Lord. still strong. Okay, what's up? Uh, Y'all going to Houston? use all them stars asking for a friend? <laughs> Reggie. Reggie Williams is so silly. I miss Reggie, man. Being uh, touchy, touchy is very powerful. MCT, going to get the last word. Yes, 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 uh, Michelle. But how do you walk around comfortably smelling a little fishy? It's not burning your own nostrils? Right. Right, Lexi Lex. I don't understand it. It's the same people who have a, a body odor every time you're around them. Or the same people who um, have really bad breath every time you talk to them. We got a it's couple like, friends like that. They don't taste that? And I, this isn't about relationships, but there was a situation where we've had a friend who smelled bad and we we're like, are we going to tell them? Are we going to hint to them? And then there's another person that now that it's been hot, they've been smelling a little bit tart or a little bit like musty or outside. And it's like, OK, let's suggest some cleansing, cleansing products to them. But still, nobody is sitting somebody down and saying, listen, you stink. I love you and I want better for you. Here are some suggestions. Happy birthday to J.B. Brown. Wanted the birthday shout out from us. July 4th was Oh, birthday. happy birthday. Happy. Oh, you you get a big firework birthday every year, J.B. Brown. Lexi Excellent. Says, Thank you, Tangerine. You're the sweetest. You're welcome, darling. Abraham. Yeah, I knew it was Abraham. So, <clears throat> I got a... Do you have any topics for today? Well, I want to read the rest of these comments before we start the comments. Mm -hmm. I mean, the topic. So, this episode is about <laughs> fishy coach? No, Kena. Yeah. No, uh, Marcus Iglesias. CT will win. Thank you. But I want y'all to understand this. That'll be the conversation we'll start. In relationships, when you guys have a difference of opinion or y'all start arguing, I try to tell her all the time, not that she's, that I'm trying to school her on anything, but I try to say all the time, we're not in competition. When you're arguing or trying to get your point across, nobody is really the winner. You guys are both the winner if you just listen to each other. There is no scoreboard. And as a man, when you feel that you won, you actually feel like you lost because you're like, oh my God, now... You know, she's feeling dejected or unheard, and now this seems like a competition. It's not. If you can get your point across to your spouse and they understand you, you're great. So just don't keep score. There is no winner. There is no loser. You're not arguing to win. You're arguing to be heard and understood. Thank you, baby. Michelle C. says, I hate taking the trash out. Taking the trash out sucks A. And then Scott says, oh, I'm sorry, Cody says, that's a man's job to take the trash out. She can put the dishes in the dishwasher. 
here's the thing. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you, Cody. I think what you're missing is what I'm saying about the trash bag. She doesn't take the trash out. She sets the trash up for me to take it out sometimes when she sets it by the stairs, right? So when she sets it by the stairs, it's like, yo, this bag is full. Please take this down. It's not her taking these bags to the camp. And one comment I missed was the laughter cushions, the fuck ish. The, uh, look, I still curse. The fuck shit that was said. That's what Scott Stallworth is saying. You're it's, absolutely right. It doesn't though. It only it only cushions it for the person who's the <laughs> offender, not the offended. Aeronology joke says, "Mom, Dad, stop fighting. I don't want you to break up." That's so cute because that's how kids be when their parents be about to get a divorce. Anybody breaking up? Anyways, yeah, we're not. Michelle going CCT is gonna get the last word. Do y'all not hear her trying to get the last word? Why is it always me being the fucking villain? She's the one. It's right in front of y'all. If y'all just open your eyes and ears, sweetie, we're all watching the same show. <clears throat> okay. Thank Sandra you guys. Cooper. Hey, my favorite couple. Sorry, I've been at my age, but I've been going through a lot of healing from a broken leg, but I'm back now. I'm glad to see y'all, CT and Tangerine. Happy birthday and happy birthday too. Um, the birthday happy birthday. Party. The birthday people are Lexi, Lex, Tank, and JB. JB. Cody sent you 100 stars. Thank you, Cody. 100 stars. Mwah, 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 mwah. Those kisses are just for you. Um, Y'all chemistry been lit since Speedy's Comedy Corner. Thank you. Who said We've that? We've been arguing since Speedy's Comedy Corner. We have not. Tito Helper. Hey, Tito Helper. So I have a question. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to talk about some of the things that keep a relationship going. Well, I have two topics. You tell me which one you want to do. We're almost at the bottom of the comments if you could just hold tight. Is that a possibility? Well, they're not going to stop coming in, but sure, go I ahead. I didn't say they were going to stop. Just catch up. I had a few classmates that was clueless as a motherfucker. Herbie says, uh, tell them to wash and bleach. Ugh. Will somebody wash their cooch and bleach, Marcus Iglesias? That sounds bad. <clears throat> Rashad, can I get a shout out, please? There it is. Uh, Kimberly <laughs> Bowen's got to check that diet. Oh, yeah. They smell a little trouty. Diet Listen, and you the stink. way they wash. That one got me, Deanna J. Hey. It's the way to say it. Uh, J.B. Brown, you're welcome. Could you guys say happy birthday to my girl? Her name? Yo, what, what are we doing? What, what are we doing? Is that the Dorcas that used to do sketches with us? Impossible. There's more than one girl named Dorcas? Was that the girl's name? The light skin chick? Yeah. Happy birthday, <clears throat> Dorcas. How do you tell someone they stank without offending them like or they're offending you with that smell? Mm, Scott says, I can do that. Easy. Thank you, Scott, for understanding. Yeah, that's nice, but it's tied 4 4. <laughs> AJ Jokes talking about the argue. I know. Um, it's just different when you both argue. Mm. I hear you, CT. Thank you, Cody. I love you guys. You Lesson being brought forward. One. What is this? Listening to one another is key and most important, one of the most important components in a relationship. When a person opens up, they hope the partner is listening, even if they don't understand a person's life or what they're going through. Listening is a way of showing empathy to the person. I agree wholeheartedly. I love you guys. Life lesson being brought forward. Thank if I'm you, arguing. Darryl Greenwood. Autumn says, if I'm arguing, then I'm arguing to win. I'm bringing facts, reference material, evidence, and even if need be, fire PowerPoint presentation. Then again, I'm also single. That's exactly. very funny, Autumn Reed. It is very funny, but you got to remember you're not, you're not fighting to win. You're fighting to be understood. And once a person says they understand you, you don't need to keep a score or feel like you lost. Um, That's great advice. If down here, if down there smells, she better use Summer's Eve, lovely Lydia says. Now, what would you like to create topic-wise? Well, first, I want to address a Summer's Eve. I believe that was a douche. I remember seeing those commercials when I was growing up. Um, you shouldn't need a special kind of soap or cleaning product for down there. You should be able to be clean and smelling good with proper diet and whatever you're regularly cleaning the rest of your body with. When you start going up in there and shoving and spraying stuff in there, you're messing with your body's natural ability to clean itself and you're ruining your pH. So um, soap and water should get it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, listen to Tangerine. I ain't never caught her out here smelling bad. You know what I'm talking about? That thing, thing ain't got no scent. Thank you. It should smell like hot water. <laughs> Even when she been in the shower, she's like, man, this is... This is nice. I appreciate that, sweetheart. Yeah. I appreciate that. Even on days I've smelled you be outside, your box don't smell crazy. And I'm like, man, huh? that's crazy. Thank that's you. good hygiene. Thank you, baby. Uh, a lot of times when girls smell like outside, it be them wigs. Because that's what lock in outside set. First now, of all, if a wig from up here wigs. got your vagina smelling bad, then what no, are we talking about? No, it's about smelling outside. Because you should want to debate and not argue. Debating, <clears throat> debating is still an issue that you guys are not coming to an immediate agreement on because both of you guys have different sides. That's what a debate is. You're debating two different sides of the point. 
which still becomes an argument. But I understand what you're trying to say. Uh, Patrice Wallace Bowie is Patrice Bowie is watching. She says, Lord have mercy. Don't use Summer's Eve. You are right, Tang. Exactly. Thank you, Summer's Eve. It's not for us. Trinidad and Tobago in the building. What's up, Kevin? Good, good seeing you. Oh, thank you. Kerwin Thomas. Hey, maybe he's our cousin. Hugh, what's that say? Forston? Yeah. Good seeing you Forston. guys. All right. So do you want to talk about this or this? Mm -hmm. Um... Give us a moment. Mm. That one could be next week and one could be the rest of the show. Let's do the bottom one. All right. So mm. the topic for today is, have you ever taken someone back after they cheated? And if so, did the relationship get better or did it get worse? Did the person stop? Was everything hunky-dory? Are you still with that person now? Let's talk about it. Life after cheating. I know that everybody might have experienced it, but has anybody been able to stay with that person? And did things get better? Did you regret taking them back? Did you learn a lesson and say never again? Let's be honest, y'all. Let's see what y'all have to say. Come through phone case. Thank you, Michelle C. Available at tangerine.com. I'll say this. Mm -hmm. I always laugh at people who are in relationships and like, you know, because when I perform on stage, I'd be like, yo, um, if I'm doing like some crowd work, I remember asking couples over the years like oh y'all yeah i'm divorced or i'm single now i just broke up with him like oh why'd you break up with him he cheated and it's like oh right and usually that's enough for people but i was like how many times and then one be like it just took one time and i'm like you're an idiot <laughs> so everybody who's been cheated on once should just let it go i'm not saying what anyone should do i'm saying that if somebody's been cheated on one time it really depends on your relationship um, and the, what the cheating meant, right? So I'll give you some scenarios. If you are in a relationship, man or woman, and the spouse cheated on you, right? Everything else in y'all's relationship has been fire. Like y'all work together great. Y'all have great chemistry. You know they love you. It was a one-off because maybe y'all got into an argument. Maybe your spouse is vindictive and they did it. Like, did they cheat on you to hurt you? Did they cheat on you because that's who they are? Did they cheat on you because y'all were on a break or because you said it's over, but you didn't really mean it is over? Like there are so many different things. And of course, I'm not going to get into all of that when I'm on stage performing for the people. Right. But there are so many different uh, loopholes for it. Or did you get cheated on as a man? Did you get cheated on because she didn't feel loved anymore? Right. And this person that she cheated with made her feel loved and desired. And you haven't made her feel like that. Or as a woman, did you get cheated on because because um, y'all been arguing so much, she went with a woman that wasn't arguing. Or because your box has been trashed and he's like, man, this box is fire. Like, you, you know what I mean? So I've, I've got a meme I want to read to you guys later. Don't let me forget. But addressing two things, I feel it's my opinion or it occurs to me that Women only cheat on their men if there's something in the relationship with the man that is not being provided. Like if he has a small penis, if he's not good in bed, if he's not listening to them. Are you listening to me while I talk? Absolutely. If he's not listening to you to talk, if he has a small penis. Being able to repeat what I said is different than actually listening. <laughs> that just does not wait. make sense. I didn't read comments while you were talking. I didn't, I'm not reading them. I just went up to where we were missing so you could take it from there. How did you, you do that done. without reading them? No. You're no? talking about reading comments so like anyways, I like <laughs> I feel women only cheat if there's something lacking to them in their relationship. They coming home to a man who doesn't cuddle with them or doesn't, you know, appeal to one of their love languages. We'll get into love languages in another episode. Or someone who doesn't uh, physically satisfy them. You know, they're never having orgasms with this person. Or, you know, they just feel very lonely or abandoned. They, they cheat for a reason. In, in my opinion, men cheat if they have the opportunity to cheat. If there's a beautiful woman at their job that keeps... Because I've seen broke dudes cheat. I've seen dudes on Maury who live in a trailer park with a, with a, uh, with a no money and no job and no car cheat. Like, I don't think it has anything to do with economic factors. Usually the woman didn't do anything wrong. Usually she's working her butt off to provide for this man who's on her couch. But it feels to me like men cheat just because they have the opportunity to cheat. Do you disagree? No. I mean, I, I gave scenarios for couples cheating, but I also, that's one thing I didn't say. Sometimes guys just cheat because it's like, oh, wow, she said I get smashed and I've been wanting to smash. It has nothing to do with uh, their relationship. Right. A lot of dudes be super happy with their girl, but it's just right. like they just went and smashed something, came back. Yeah, we watching Netflix. 
That's my point. Okay, read the comments. Did you eat up. salmon? It was a girl. It was a naked sushi. Uh, I'm sorry. Pickle uh, salmon. Good callback, baby. Pickle trout. Um, Herbie Hawkins says, staying afterwards leaves you on edge. Mm. Sent 100 stars 100 well. stars. Herbie, you're absolutely right. I was just talking to a friend of ours, a married couple that we know, and there was cheating before they got married. And now that they're married a couple years into the marriage, they're still arguments about the past cheating mm. and it's ruining them and they may end up not being no uh, able to stay together not ruining not continuous ruined them well they're separated they're not completely divorced yet. she's done with him <laughs> i was trying to be positive she's done look but, when a woman is done she's done there are signs said, oh. there are signs that a woman will give you when she's done and you need to sometimes listen but uh, allegedly, there was no cheating during the marriage. It all happened before the marriage. She knew about it before she married him, but she can't let it out of her mind. So she's very insecure. So it's difficult. If you say you're going to forgive somebody, ladies, you have to forgive them. You have to be able to move on. But you're absolutely right. You're on edge when you give somebody yeah. another chance. Also, the girls that he cheated on her with look better than her. So it's like, why wouldn't she feel I don't, insecure? I'm not going to say that. She's beautiful. Listen, I didn't say she wasn't beautiful cold. too, but she's I never cold. compared them. She's cold. But the girls that he's <laughs> cheated with are banging, right? Oh, and oh, on top of that, the oh. girls that he's cheated on her with, why would she not be like, oh my God, I'm a horrible person when these girls are gorgeous and they're it, this and they're that. makes her even more insecure. Even more insecure. How can you live with that? I'll furthermore add that uh, the girls he's cheated with are so bad compared to guys that cheat with mud ducks. Those yeah, are the dudes doing you favors. But what's better, ladies? We're going to ask that later. But would you rather find out he cheated with somebody who looks worse than you? Or somebody who looks way better. Because if they look way better, would you be like, I can understand why he had to hit that. Are like, you ready? She's a baddie. Or would you be like, oh my God, why would he? The women who get cheated on and the woman looks better, they don't tell that story. They only tell the story when the girl looks bad. And, <laughs> and let me show you what she look like. I hate your female <laughs> voice impersonations. <laughs> let me show you. Let me pull her IG up. See this? This is what he left me for. They don't pull up. They don't pull up Beyonce. <laughs> They'll be like, girl, he cheated. I don't want to talk about it. He gone. But, but, she, but she's not going to leave a man who got Beyonce. Because like, if you get her, let me stay with she's you because you're a leave. winner. No, we were uh, there. Oh, Ashley says, answer to that question. No, I never got back with the person who cheated on me. Good for you, Ashley. Autumn Reed. She was responding to Lorenzo. Ah, oh, debater argue doesn't matter. I've chosen the path of righteous violence and I must crush my opponent's soul. That's Ooh. funny. AJ? Nope, I took my baller bands back and that was it. Hilarious. I heard what he that. got you to know. I have, and it was a huge mistake. Andre Williams says he's Michelle taking C. somebody back after cheating and it was a huge mistake. I took him back for two seconds for emergency DI, you understand the rest, but left swiftly after. But, I mean, because I didn't need the headache, stress, or STDs that could come Ooh, from it. Ooh, STDs. Respect. Uh, well, you got to think about what drove that person to cheat. Was it something you did or was it just a personal issue within himself? Sex addict. That's Look what at Lexi, Lexi Lex, the says. birthday girl. Oh. Ashley White. Cheating, in a way, is emotionally, uh, psycho psychologically. Good job, baby. I'm tripping. Psychologically and mentally abused to the person. If you really love someone, why cheat on them? We just mm. explained several reasons why. Uh, let's see. Hugh, Team CT all day. Absolutely. Appreciate that. Hi, Hugh. Isa B. Darto. Thanks for why, wishing my girl a happy birthday. Now I need to know why she's always taking her car away whenever we get into an argument, knowing I have to go to work. All y'all share a car. Oh, well, first of all, sir, let's get into the fact of why you why you need your woman's car to get to work, sir. Hey. What? Okay, you're right. How long y'all been together and you haven't gotten your own car yet? And of course, if she's mad at you, she's going to be like, well, yeah, you need me. She's, she's uh, vindictive. Vindictive. I've she's always vindictive. stayed away from vindictive people, man. That's um, cold, because she you need to make your money. There's no excuse, fam, for cheating. If you cheat, you gotta go. Kerwin says. Cheat. Now that's a man saying that. And what yeah. CT jokes about is that women are more used to getting cheated on. Tell us why. <laughs> it's part of his jokes. Oh, awkward. Uh women are more used to getting cheated. I won't say they're more used to getting cheated on, but it's a bigger support system because so many women have been cheated on. Women have groups to help each other get over it. They got songs. They got people that have been through what they've been through and can help them get through it. Men have been cheated on, but so many men have so much pride. There are very few guys that will say something to help a man get over it or uh, to support them or tell them their story. They'll just be like, <laughs> he got cheated on like it doesn't happen to men. So that's what I, that's what the, you know. Right. So Kerwin, it makes, it makes sense for you to say there's no excuse for cheating. If you cheat, you got to go. Cause men usually can't tolerate something like that. No. They're, they're too 
uh, emotionally fragile. Yep. They're visual. So yep. they're picturing what you did with that other guy. Did you do that to, to me the way you did it to him, vice versa? So they can't take it. Women, yep. we've gotten used to it. Mm -hmm. um, we actually prey on men. And when I say women, I don't mean me personally. But women will see a man with a wedding ring and that makes them more attracted to the man. And they want to go flirt with him. And it's like, you know he's in a whole relationship. You know he's in a whole marriage. Women don't seem to care. Never they will happily be. What are you talking about? Women have never come up because of the ring. How, they didn't tell you that, but you wear your ring every time you leave the house. They've never come up to me for the ring. That's, I think what you're saying and what happens in reality is different. So you got maybe some mud ducks that have come up to guys and be like, oh, he got a ring on. What's up with you? And maybe, right? That's never happened to me. Then you got some really beautiful women that come up to guys who are married that might also be gorgeous men. Like if you walk up to a guy that's Jason Momoa, he got the ring on. Are you? Do you feel like you're not attractive enough for what I have said to have been well, let's accurate get this in your life? I am extremely attractive. Exactly. I'm saying that it's never happened to me. You don't know that. You're an attractive man. You're successful. You wear this ring. That means somebody loves you enough to take care of you and to commit to you. And they're like, well, what's he, what else he got? Let me find out. That's what they do. No, nobody love me like you love me, Tangerine. You hear me? That's why I'm not going nowhere. Neither are you. <sighs> Michelle C says cheating is non-negotiable because I can no longer trust you after the infidelity would give me anxiety, stress, and a feeling that I need to, to smother, smother him, him in, his, in sleep. his sleep. That's, That's funny. Honest. That's, That's funny. Uh, <laughs> broke, broke dudes cheat. cheat. Mm, who said that? Richmond's too. Uh, Isa Darto. I mean, they obviously there are millionaires. Eh, whatever. Yeah, rich people cheat. You can watch that on all of your celebrity blogs and you can see people breaking up. What happens a lot in, in our Hollywood community is there can be somebody that, you know, maybe held you down while you were struggling to become successful. But the second you get a chance, you know, to get in that door, to get a big record deal or a big movie deal, and you're working with another star that you've always had a crush on. Next thing you know, you're with that new star and you've left that person that you came up through the ropes with. So, uh, yeah, rich people cheat too. Not through the ropes. CT, I'm a cancer. If you do me dirty, you're dead to me. I'll have a good funeral for you in my mind. Some good singing, some flowers, some eulogies, and uh, the absolute rap for you. That's Dang, J.B. Brown. J.B. Brown. I heard that. You're At only as you faithful know. as your options, huh, Tangerine? That's Uncle exactly. Aaron Exactly. That's, that's what Chris Rock said in his special, right? People still cheating out here? Shaking my head, Reggie says. Reggie, that's a good husband right there. He's playing it off well, he but his cheated. woman takes good care of him. Lovely Lydia. He cheated and married her, but he kept trying to get back with me knowing that he was married. I told him every time I see him, I want to throw up, and I was loyal. Oh, I'm sorry that happened to you, uh -huh. Lydia. Um, Wait, let me let me unpack that. He cheated and married her. Married the girl that cheated with. Okay, so he was with Lydia. Yeah. And then he cheated on Lydia for her and then married her, but then still tried to keep coming back with Lydia. Ooh. Yeah. Cold peace. Shout out to Lydia's box. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Lexi Lex says, I like men. I feel like men don't take their women back as much after cheating as opposed to the woman exactly. taking their back. Hell no. Exactly. <laughs> See? Exactly. Damaged but, goods. But that's why it's good that us women are good at cheating. So we they don't, don't get out. caught. That way we can stay in a main <clears throat> relationship. Because if we got caught or let the person know that we cheated, they wouldn't be able to take us back. Well, it wasn't cheating, Cody says. But after my wife passed, she came to my church. What? what? I guess another woman oh, came to a church a year later. It. Came to a church a year later, but we broke up because that was a there was a comedy. Oh, we started arguing. Then she left. We went out. This was over 30 years ago. But one day she left probably because I was talking to another girl that I guess liked me. But we probably be back together in September. Oh, so it's not over, Cody. Uh, Tito, so. communication and honesty is needed to survive. Yes. So does that mean as long as you have communication and honesty, you can cheat on each other and take each other back? Is Jeez that what you're saying, Tito? That's toxic. Cody says, I did twice look at a woman we went out. After she yelled, stop looking at those women out loud. I haven't since. Oh, Cody. Nice. Um, I'm not the type of wife who cares who he looks at. When we go out, I will help him pick out the beautiful women. And I'll be like, did you see her? And he'll be like, yeah, I already looked. Or, you know, he might get my attention on somebody who has like an enormous butt or something. I don't know. I think I know his taste. Or I'll make fun of him if somebody's like over exaggeratedly like curvy. I'll be like, hey, there you go, there you go, your girl CT. And he'll be like, come on, Tandra, not her. But we we play like that. And I don't see it's hard for me to understand women who get mad if a guy looks at somebody. It's like Insecurity. <laughs> oh, I did something funny on accident. I have a balcony. We have a balcony here that I like to hang out at. 
and I can watch rush hour traffic go by. That's your bad, I don't be going up there. You don't. You don't even go on the roof. Like, you don't do nothing outdoors in the daytime. But I was waving at the cars that were going by in rush hour traffic one day. This was like two weeks ago. And this guy was in a truck, and I waved, and he looked, and he waved at me. And I think I might have had a bikini top on now that I think about it because I was getting my suntan. And then I saw him get into an argument with the woman next to him. I didn't even know there was a girl in the car. That's funny. But I saw him look over at her and then look back like, no, I don't know her. And then I, he had to explain. And I was like, he, but who cares? Like, he waved at me. Like, she what cares. are we talking about? Uh, also, he knows the address. So. He don't know which house from over back. there. Uh, I don't understand why people care. Don't destroy a whole family because your husband dumped some. Jesus. Dumped some cum in a cum bucket. That's my mom's friend, Patrice. <laughs> it's just a physical gratification. Emotional cheating is different than physical cheating. That one I couldn't do. Now let's let's unpack that, Patrice, because you've been married for a long time. Please put in the comments how long you've been married, because that is a real woman speaking right there. She is an adult with grown kids, and she's kept her husband this whole time. And her point is, cheating with a man is not emotionally attached. Usually, it's just they want to release. This woman said they could, but they're coming back to the person they love, that they have a family with, that they want to share their life with. And I am an, in an agreement of that type of mentality. Now, if he catches feelings for this other woman, if he loves her, if he's trying to take her on trips, if he's trying to talk about, yeah, I'm going to leave my wife and be with you one day. I'd rather have a baby with you. Like if it, get, it becomes like more of a relationship, then no, that's not OK. But a little dumping your cum in a cum dumpster, as Patrice put it, uh, is OK. What's your thoughts? On that? Yes. Jeez Louise. It's too real? Too the raw? word choice. It's too raw? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I feel like. If you're married, well, to go along with that, Tito said it ain't cheating unless you're married. Like, if you're married... That's not true. If you're married, I feel like you shouldn't have true feelings about someone equal to your wife or husband, right? Because everybody will say, first of all, if you're a good player, you're going you're gonna to sell a dream. You understand? But you're not going to lie or hurt somebody's feelings with that dream and... It shouldn't be equal to the person that you truly love. How are you going to sell a dream and not lie? If you're going to exactly. cheat. Exactly. <laughs> this is how he gets so caught. You can make up. Because he says too much truth. That's what mean Autumn to say. says. What did Autumn say, baby? She said, how if you you're going to cheat. How are you going to sell a dream and not lie? <laughs> it's not possible. Believe me, what I said makes perfect sense, but I can't explain it to you. Because there's lying involved. You have to make the other girl think that she means something to you for her to stick around this long. Well, I'm a liar. Okay, so just admit that instead of saying that BS you just said. Well, it's not BS. It is. If you're going to cheat, cheat down so you can make up. <laughs> ah, Autumn Reed. Uh, so <laughs> Got to get back on the horse. Who said that? That's AJ. What, yeah. Love little it is. <laughs> Some... Oh. Some men cheat to see oh. if they still got it. Like Martin, I still want to see if I still got it, baby. Yeah. Lin I hate that voice. Linnell That's how he was talking. We look at all the attributes, but the freakiness plateau, and that's where the problem happens. What does that mean? I don't know. So if the woman isn't freaky enough for you, then you have to cheat on somebody who's freakier, but you don't really want to make that person your girl because she's too freaky? Deanna J. CT, the woman wouldn't actually tell you she's approaching you because of the ring. Exactly. They absolutely do prey on men with the ring. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Deanna J. Lexi Lex, prime example, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Didn't he leave Jennifer Aniston after Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And just like uh, Kanye Ooh. left his wife for... Uh, he, he wasn't married to anybody before Kim. I'm sorry. He left his woman that was with him all that time that he was rapping about. She's a Delta, so she's been throwing a dynasty sign. All of that for Kim Kardashian. Uh, what's her name? No, Gabrielle he Union. Was with, he was with uh, Amber Rose before he got with Kim Kardashian. Which is also a, somebody that he was fanning out over because she was a freaking stripper. Like, how are the strippers winning like that? Because they doing stuff that these good hey, girls... Hey, relax your eyes. Right now, you look so excited thinking about strippers. Chill. Thank because you. Because they're doing things... <laughs> That these good girls <laughs> can't even imagine. And uh, also, Grab Your Union got what's his name? Um, the, the Dwayne Wade. Dwayne after Wade. His, he was married. Exactly. And then. He's uh, married to his high school sweetheart, though. She couldn't compare to no Gabrielle Union. Sometimes but she I shouldn't have, take have to L. compare. Sometimes I can No, take that L. that's not okay. You held him down through all of his games when he was losing and when he was working out and trying to get uh, drafted to the league. Can I talk about that R&B singer that, that loved you, that you enjoyed, that you had a crush on? Yeah, but let me also say, uh, what's her name? Alicia Keys. Didn't she get somebody else's husband? Swiss Beats. Yeah. Yeah, so, he was with Mashonda. They're a big, happy family now. Exactly. Now, what, what, what's the R&B singer that had a crush on me? When R. Kelly... Oh, you're going to say his name. ...was right. super into you. Like, she was going to concerts, 
And R. Kelly just kept trying to like get at her and she wasn't giving him no love. He was giving her phone numbers and she would never call. I called a couple times. He asked me to go to Chicago with him. I wouldn't go. Well, this is news to me. Uh, Finish your statement. But shout out to you not going. Yeah, but, I would have been in the documentary. No. I was a huge fan of R. Kelly. Yeah, but he was only... Only the kids was going to the house. No, there was some adults there too because he got in trouble with the kids. So he had a couple of older women in there too. Remember? Oh, got it. Yeah. So you um you didn't go, but I remember being like, like I'm the I'm the opposite of most men. He would have went. So no, if I wouldn't have went. If it was a female artist that you had a huge crush on, that was a billionaire or millionaire. That's that not even shocking. Of course I would go. But my point is, when she was telling me this stuff, I'm the wrong boyfriend because I'd be like. Why didn't you go? Exactly. And then she's like, well, you know, I'm like, yo, this is somebody you're a, a fan of, right? Like, there have been, uh, I dated this girl who uh, Ocho Cinco was in love with. Like, they went to school together. And he had saw her, and he was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up. I'd love to take you to dinner or shopping. We could go on a trip or something like that. And she was like, oh, I have a boyfriend. And I was like, I'm renting a room in an apartment, and you're choosing me over him? Look at all this money he has. And then she's like, yeah, but you know, it's just money. And I was like, you're a waitress. <laughs> you don't even make great tips. You're in this apartment room with me. Oh, my goodness. Visiting, of course, because, you know, she couldn't live with me. But it was like, you're not making good decisions. Oh, my goodness. This is hilarious. Jason Momoa, I don't even want to steal him. I just need to borrow him for 72 hours. Autumn Reed. Autumn Reed. He's a good looking guy. I also am attracted to Ocho Cinco. He's so much shorter than you, though. Yeah, but I like his personality. When I was following him on Twitter, I used to love the way he was super positive and the stuff, the way he would joke. I was like, oh, I like him other than just what he looks like. I like his personality. You should see what's up. I mean, if I meet him, you know. Uh, Don Freeman, I don't see any real relationship. Don, what have you been watching? We keeping it real as hell. We don't have to defend our relationship to him. Unless he's talking about somebody else, but he can't be talking about us. Because it don't get no realer than this. You're rare, but you know you're beautiful and you know he loves you, Cody Adler says. Thank you, Cody. Cheryl says, I was cheated on. Caught him here. Caught him and her in the act. Woo! It was a whole weird scene. But also, it was my first real adult love. I was about 31. Afterwards, he stayed on my mind and I found myself randomly texting him, but I couldn't have sex with him again. I didn't feel comfortable. But also, that's when I realized small men... Uh, really be out here cheating. Oh, do you think it's a small penis thing, Cheryl? Because I've seen all sizes of penises cheat on people. Here's the funny thing. I'm sorry you caught them in the act. That has to be a visual that's hard to erase yeah, from that your Yeah, that's got to hurt. Um, never had that before. But the small thing, I think a lot of women are out here enjoying it because it's not messing up their cervixes. And um, I read a post the other day. A girl was like, I like them small because this, that, and it don't hurt. And I can multiply orgasm. And I was like, man. Small and medium. I call medium-sized penises boyfriend D because you can do it consistently. You can do it often and, you know, it doesn't tear you up inside. It doesn't bring you pain. Shout out to Patrice Bowie. She answered my question. Who The one who said it's okay if a man cheats, if he's just dropping off some cum in a cum dumpster as long as he doesn't have, has a, have an emotional attraction to her. She's been married 42 years. If anybody in here has been married longer than that, let me know. But Patrice right now is our expert on relationships. Lexi Lex says, abortions are illegal now, LOL. So she <laughs> men better be careful whose club they shooting up. That's right, Lexi Lex. Absolutely right. Kerwin says, I'm a cancer to heart. For me to be with someone, I have to have a connection. Oh, That's look cute. at you trying to score brownie points. Oh. Braylon says, the problem is people jump in relationships with others that they like, but don't have a deeper connection to see if they actually are compatible. Deeper so if conversations. You're, you want to read a comment? No, I just want you to know that it's a different meaning. They don't have the deeper conversations to see if they're actually compatible. Continue. So if you're with someone you're not compatible with, you're always going to be chasing what they're missing if they're not on the same page as you. That's Breland from Shoot Your Shot over in Charlotte, North Carolina. I just got a chance to take a picture with him after my show in uh, Charlotte on Thursday of last week. I saw him, I saw Ashley White, because she made the drive all the way from visiting family in Wilmington over to Charlotte to see me. And it was her first comedy show ever. She mm. brought her mom. The pictures of them are in my Discord. And I also got to meet Tank, whose birthday it is right now. I got to meet Tank in North Wilkesboro, Never North Carolina on, I think it was on Friday. So shout out to Team Tangerine for pulling up on me in North Carolina. Shanita says, cleaning, <laughs> cheating breaks trust. And if I can't trust you, I'm out. Good, for you. Good point, Shanita. Aaron Baker, let me tell you something. I just learned about alienation of affection, so I'm straight on entanglements. 
uh, I'm Mr. That's Your Girl. I don't know what alienation of affection means, but it sounds like you don't tolerate cheating, which is what I, I, feel, I feel like most men don't. And even though I'm seeing these women in here saying, you know, you don't like cheating, the question was, have you ever taken somebody back? Yep. After they cheated on you. Braden says, but Gabrielle Union tossed us out. Okay, I don't. <laughs> Did they say that in the interview? That she, uh, that she ate him out from behind, I'll say? Because if that's the case, you know, he had to leave, baby girl. Um, Kerwin, who's TC, fam? Let's really discuss Oh, that. Kerwin. Let's, let's get this straight. Well, R. Kelly like little girls. Kerwin fixed it. CT, there you go. Thank smart. You, Very smart, buddy. Uh, she want him for the D? Who said that? Dang, CT, you clowning the girl for having morals? Exactly. She wasn't impressed with his money and was down for you. First of all, I'm Thank never going to be shocked Lex. for a woman being down for me. I'm an amazing guy. That's not even cocky. That's just, come on. And I'm not talking about physical appearance either. I just am amazing. I'm a one in a million type of man. However, I'm also a big fan of not being broke. So if you see a, a solution to your problem, I didn't say that she could not deal with me. I just said, go get that money. I've been seeing so many girls date guys that they want instead of guys that they need. Like, come on, baby girl. CT is available if your daughters need counseling. Um, he's here to help so that you guys can uh, That's funny. get out of the trenches and get some money in your family. I drag Lily to the comment from before. You better be talking about another couple. I know that's right. Uh, Dog do it. Not talking about y'all. I'm telling you. Not talking about y'all. Y'all a couple. My first time on here. Thank you very much, He was the one that said, I don't see a real couple. Mm -hmm. And that's what she said. Bam. Got you. Yeah. But you missed my baby Amos Coates. Read it. He says, dodge the bullet on that one. I just want to say hi to Amos Coates. Because right now, it is like 1 o'clock in the morning where he is in the Netherlands. So thank you for watching us. Uh, Scott Stallworth said, better shoot up the back of the club. Ugh. Oh, that means only doggy stuff. I mean, not that doggy stuff. Only anal? Butt. Oh. Um, let's see. Alienation of affection is when a person who got cheated on can sue the hussy. Oh. Oh, if they're married, though. Not just a regular boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, let me say it again. Y'all look at all the attributes of a person. Accept a person's freak level. Like if they... Like if they're in the BDSM, swinger, open relationships, bi or straight relationships, you have to figure that person out on how to deal with that person. Mm. Okay, Linnell. Linnell got a little wild life going on, considering all that. I like it. Yeah, they said that. Toss Chef Gabby's salad. Oh, that's interesting. And you guys know that the child they're raising, I don't know how many kids he has, but I know that one that is uh, wants to identify as a different sex than he was born in is it a boy that wants to be a girl or a girl that wants to be a boy i don't know but yeah they um they seem like they have a very open and eccentric family lifestyle over there so i get it um and then, and then they got, got dark to, they mentioned pegging oh brayden so she's tossing salads and pegging him and raising a a gender neutral child with him go gabby kerwin thomas no take backs after cheating wouldn't be able to trust the person now smashing if i'm single is not a problem stephen butler i want to say this so you understand it without trying to antagonize you my name is clayton thomas so the c comes before the t so when i say team ct all day my first name isn't team so it will be team clayton thomas all day so you would never say TC, you would only say CT. I hope that makes sense. And if you forget, just remember C comes before T in the alphabet. So just put the C first and um, um, you'll make him happy. No what's wrong bags. with the back of the club, Derek Clayton says. That's uh, that's Bama. What's up, Bama? Bama, you out of control. Big team ring supporter. Nobody so said anything's wrong with it, but that shouldn't be your first choice. You shouldn't be going to a girl like, hey, let me hit you in that butt. And then it's like, uh... Am I, I the first gender you tried this with? That, I know. I always wonder if somebody prefers anal. If a man prefers anal, I always wonder, does he care whose butt it is? Does he care if it's always a girl's butt? Or does has he tried other butts? Aaron says, boy that wants to be a girl <clears throat> dating a girl that wants to be a boy. Huh. Wow. Is that what he's doing? Boy that wants to be a girl. Okay. Well, that's extreme. And, you know, one thing I know is that we can't say anything negative about the other type of community because we will get in trouble. Uh -huh. We can talk mess about blacks and maybe caucasians but when it comes to asians and uh the the lgbtq ia plus community zip. i identify as being ct and tang being my wife <sighs> see how stupid that sounds when you say it out loud i meant it though i heard that what's his name mike single single petty monster that's your name on facebook every day mike single single petty monster that's funny um 
Never the first choice, Bama says. Good. Good, good. Thank you, everyone, for all the birthday wishes. Absolutely, Lexi. You're welcome, Lexi. 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 Um, Any final words before we get out of here, babe? Oh, man, we we just flew by. It did. We were having fun. You know, middle of the end. Listen, guys, I want to We thank had fun you the whole time. So much. And you love doing watching. this podcast. I love you. And you love doing this podcast with me. And I love them. Say it. Say what? You love doing this podcast. Is that what you want me to say? Yes. That I love doing this yes. podcast? Yes, say it. I love doing this podcast. That's the part I'm going to use in the promo. Ding! All right, did you come up with a theme song for us to leave on? No, the outro? I've been talking. I haven't had time to think. Babe, you're so quick on your toes. Thank you. Amos Coasting, 1,200 stars. Hey. Brat, brat, brat. These kisses are just for you, Amos. Scott's the whole Thank one. you for sowing seeds onto this tangerine tree. We've now already made $34.20. You have made $34. You know, sharing in this money. Maybe now, hold on now. I prefer the front of the club, LOL. <laughs> I've been through the back a few times, but never the first choice. Good, hey, Scott. Good. I don't judge anybody, man. I'm so tired of Amos Coates. Reggie. Reggie Williams, all you got to do is top it, man. Just send a couple, you know, $1,200. Worth Mike of says, I've been y'all fans for years. I've been y'all's fans for years. Glad y'all read mine out loud, though. Blessings to you, fam. Thank you for the love. You're welcome. Love the segment Mr. for the day. You guys segment. rock. Thanks, Colette. Uh, Lexi Lex, y'all are hilarious. Such great chemistry. Thank Very you, sweet. Lexi Lex. I'm sorry, I got in late. It's all good. Rewind it from the beginning. Yes, watch Brayden back. Brayden sent you 100 stars and says, the back door is always a cherry on top, mm. not the first priority until the overturn of... Of Roe versus Wade. Oh my goodness. These kisses are for you with that That's wild funny. comment. Thank you for the 100 stars. <laughs> that <laughs> is funny. That is funny. What's up? LeVar Humble, rewind this and watch it. We're wrapping it up. This is episode number 99 of Marriage Go Round with Tangerine and CT, also known as Married this Things and Things. Is marriage Go Round. That's married Things good. and Things is the part you're trying to do. Because no, the rhythm is off. Now it's so slow and relaxing. Exactly. Well, this is going off course a little bit, but my husband and I just grew about what, Ruby G? Just turned in. That's what's up, LeVar. Hit it for the beginning so you can enjoy yourself. Married 47 years, Braden? Nice. 17 years. Oh, yeah, I ain't got my glasses on. My goodness, that's a big difference. You gave him 30 extra years that's with that woman. Like, damn, 47. <sighs> well, you know congratulations, how to use the Braden. Has, have either of you ever cheated and you still together? Because people never admit that part. That you've been with somebody that had cheated on you, but you got through it. Most people that have been married for a long time, there was some cheating. There was an affair. There was something that was found out, but you love that person enough to take them back. You worked through it. You got over it. And that's what this episode topic was about. Life after the cheating. Can you make it work? I remember I got cheated on and it was a bad time of my life overall. So it was like, oh my God. And this, you know what I mean? So it also depends on what you're going through, but it's like, Oh, okay. Ruby says, well, this is going off course a little bit, but my husband and I just grew apart. Oh, apart. From what? From cheating or you just got bored with him? We have not, but there were options that we both didn't choose. Oh, you're such a good guy, oh, Brayden. Good, good for you. All right. So if you guys want to know how to catch me, I have a few shows coming up. You can always go to tangerine.com slash comedy. See my next shows. I'll be doing Super Funny Comedy Club this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Tacoma, Washington. So if you're in the area of Tacoma or Seattle, pull up on that. It's their two-year anniversary show of the club being open. She's going to be there. I am going to be there. I booked my ticket and everything. I'm going to be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this week coming up. I will be doing Matt Taylor's show on Melrose in Hollywood on the 22nd. He'll be doing that same show, Melrose in Hollywood, on the 23rd. I'll be doing Raw Naked Sushi in San Diego in uh, on the 23rd. What's up, baby? That trout on that trout. Uh, Mike Single Single says, CT, what happened to you doing stand-up? You was funny as fuck, man. You need to get back on stage. So like I was saying, he's going to be doing Matt Taylor's show on the 23rd of this month in Hollywood. He has been performing like crazy at the Comedy and Magic I Comedy wish, Club in is it Hermosa Beach. Yeah, I wish Facebook would show me to more people. It's like the stuff, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, if you care to anyway, go to my pages, Instagram and Facebook, and turn your notifications on. Because the questions and the statements that get made to me blow my mind. It's like... Yo, when the new videos? I just dropped one today. Oh, when you performing again? I just posted that yesterday. Oh, I you ain't doing stand up no more. I, I was at the airport yesterday, and a guy was like, "Hey, man, I know you from YouTube." And I was like, "Oh, thanks, man." He was like, "Yeah, you still do videos?" And I was like, "Yeah, man, you just stopped watching them." <laughs> oh, so please. 
please hit the notifications on both of our pages, on our Facebooks, on our Instagrams, on his YouTube. You know, I don't have a YouTube, but get the notification so that every time we post, you'll know about it. And yes, we both are still doing comedy videos. We're both still doing live streams on our pages. We both have a Patreon. Please subscribe. Patreon.com slash CT is says, dope. Patreon.com slash Tangerine. Yes, baby. Yeah, please subscribe to the Patreon. Please. Uh, Mike says, bro, I ain't seen you in two years at least. No cap. Why would I lie? Nobody's saying you a lie, but I'm saying to you, <clears throat> turn your notifications on. I don't know why you haven't seen me in two years. I definitely have not stopped creating content. Well, he's talking about stand up. So did this person? Did I you just go posted to, stand up clips like a week ago. Did you go? To, did he go to your city, Mike? Single, single, petty monster. And you're saying he hasn't been back to your city in two two years because he has never stopped doing stand up. I always see your wife though. Maybe it's the algorithm. That's what I'm saying. Turn your notifications on if you give a fuck. If not, don't. But also, don't bring it to my attention if you don't care and ask me about the shit. Every time I hear you. Every time I see you. I, I hear, hear the, the music, music with a slow mo punch. Thanks, doom, Cherie. Doom, 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 doom. You gotta do the special effects. All right, you guys, I got a shirt on that I got from the Vegan Exchange LA. Eating animals is creepy. And y'all know it is. Y'all be eating that stuff because you say it tastes good, but it's just the seasons and the marination and all that stuff that y'all did. But eating animals is creepy is a shirt shout out for today. Yeah, Bama came to my show in uh, Colorado a couple months ago. So, you know what's funny? We just seen Bama so many times. He came. I was like, "What up, the boy?" And he like was he's like, the yeah, homie. Yeah. <laughs> he I appreciate is the you coming. Homie now. It was so funny because it was like, man, the show he came to was so light. I'm like, man, what's up with this club? Like, I've never seen it packed, and it's not even a big club. Mm, unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, all right. You have any closing words, babe? We're getting out of here. Yeah. CT literally uploads snippets of his comedy show performances. Lexi, Lexi, is letting y'all you. know. Yes, he does. He never stopped. He's been grinding hard. As a matter of fact, Deviled cut, sit, I'm going to post sit. a 30 minute video on my Patreon in the next hour and a half or two hours. That's nice. It's going to be called Running the Light because I freestyled and I was doing, I did a couple jokes, but I just freestyled for like 30 minutes. Where was this? At the Comedy Chateau. Oh, nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that in the next hour. So if you want to see some comedy, Patreon.com slash CT is dope. And I haven't been posting anything on my OnlyFans. I appreciate the shout out, Braden, but I would like you guys to move over to my Patreon because OnlyFans made me mad and I'll be posting stuff over there. I used to see them all the time on Facebook. I didn't give, if I didn't give a fuck, I wouldn't, I would have told my hundred plus friends about you when you was active, but more diligent because if you have new shit, I haven't seen, I've been cheated. You have. Again, turn your notifications on. And go to my Facebook page and scroll around. You've missed a lot if you ain't seen me in two years, Kat. Jeveled Kep said he needs a petition to get you in Kansas City. CT's yeah. Twitch and Patreon are off the chain. Braden says there was something I missed up here. I'm hungry. Uh, I missed it. All right. Well, we're going to get out of here. You, uh, you want to cook for your man? You know. Well, it's fine. Sure. What do you want, babe? Nothing with that attitude. Come on, babe. It's not the attitude. Like, if I ask you for money, you give me an attitude, but you say, but I gave you the money, right? So don't worry about how you got it. Just take the money. So I don't do give you, you any money because I need everybody to subscribe to everything. Patreon.com slash CT is dope. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Tangerine spelled like that. T-A-N-J-R-E-N. Okay, we're out of here, baby. We've gone about 10 minutes over. Yeah, I want you to remember that we went over. Baby, you love doing this podcast. We went over because you're having such a good mm, time. You like lilac. What is that? It smells good. It's called Husband Keeper. You been in the shower? You smell amazing. Yes, I've been in the shower. Why wouldn't I have... Sh have you not been in the shower? No. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> been downstairs all day. <laughs> you have your own shower downstairs. Let me look at your butt. <sighs> Babe, do you want, are you ready for us to go? You have any more shows coming up? Yeah, I got a show. I see you all the time. My side be cracking. Uh, Colette McCullough. Thank you, Colette. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We adore you. I'm going to go live in my Discord now in the supporter room. So if you are Team Reen, that means you're subscribed financially to my Patreon or my Facebook or my OnlyFans while I still have one, then your name will be green in my Discord and we'll be talking and hanging out while he is. You about to make it clap back there with baby. Okay, bye, you guys. He's doing too much. <laughs> bye, you guys. Thanks so much for Such watching. Big butt. Episode nine of the Marriage You guys should do this twice a week. No, we Please should not. Please share it. Video. Please tag people to watch it. I want to download these, airdrop them, so I can post them on my YouTube. You know?
screw YouTube. They deleted me. Well, you know, one of us still has one, so you shouldn't punish everybody. So, you know, I need a podcast, apparently. So, I was actually thinking about, well, I'll say that another time because it doesn't involve you. But I think on your way to Team Ring, thank you, Brady. The other podcast and this podcast, I can have it on my, on my YouTube. What's your other podcast? I haven't created it yet. Oh, all right, bye, you guys. We're just stalling now. Yeah, but this looks good. Like, if you just, you know, download all of these. They're all downloaded already. On your hard drive? Yes. Great. And then, you know, I'll just drop them. Oh, will you? Yeah. That's crazy. Don't you dare. <laughs> Goodbye, you guys. They have your Patreon, too?